Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jen Gianni, and we're going to continue the conversation about freeing the rib cage by releasing around the shoulder blade. In a previous video, we went to the medial side of our shoulder blade. Today, we're going to go to the lateral side of our shoulder blade. And uh, this can be really some hidden tension, some tension and sensation that we don't notice until we have a ball there. So um, again, like the medial shoulder blade, this will unstick the shoulder girdle from the rib cage. So we're gonna find um, the outside of the armpit, our lateral shoulder blade. The mini tennis ball here again is your best bet. And we're gonna land on that area. So I'm gonna come down on my side. For a lot of people, it's a good idea to have something between the legs just for comfort. So you can really let go of your legs and your pelvis. And then I'm gonna take the yoga block or the pillow under my head to support my head. And then once I'm down here, I can earthworm a little bit. So I'm just excavating the area, really trying to find that sensation spot. Then I'm going to land on it. So the sensation spot, especially in this area, can have legs. So you might feel the tensioning, right, going all the way through the arm and into the hand, or maybe down through the torso, into the back, or even into the pelvis. Now, the thing that you want to note is that after a few inhales and exhales, you can calm yourself, right? You're still feeling it but you feel, you feel that you can relax and drop into the floor in this difficult moment. If you're not able to do that through a few inhales and exhales and you're feeling pain and it feels dangerous to you, then you need to move to another spot. But if you're able to drop and release into the ball, kind of melt yourself around the ball, then you can stay here for about a minute, maybe a little over a minute, and you can even add a little bit of heavy rocking forward and over the ball. As you're doing that, you can also open and close the hand. And again, you just want to make sure that as you start moving, that you're not gripping and pulling away from the ball, right? That at every little spot on this journey through this transitionary movement, you're able to fall and release into the ground. And again, if we had all the time in the world, there's a number of different close neighbors of sensation that we could go into on this area. But for today, we're only doing one. So you want to roll onto your back for a moment after you've completed that so that you can really bring your brain online. Feeling the difference side to side, feeling the space that you've created. And it may be subtle, but um, for most of you, I'm going to say that, that you'll, you'll feel it, you'll sense it. And then again, sitting up, right, in relationship to gravity, reaching into gravity, and then feeling that there's a certain amount of already, just from that little release, of a decompression of your shoulder blade, of a float of your shoulder blade, really releasing your rib cage. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.